Hey everyone, it's everyone, and Deep World is back online on Windows, so I'm going to be doing another Deep World challenge video today. So I'm back in Saltfell, which is a world built by Anne Y from the forums, or Fire Law, as they're known in game. Um, and recently, they've gone and redone a bit of Saltfell, so now it is possible to complete the world on Windows. So in today's video, I'm going to take a look around and see what's changed. So to start off, we go through these doors. Um, one-way doors, as you can see, and do a big jump. Oh, there's a brain down there. That wasn't there before. So we want to get across these platforms, because if you fall into acid, you can't get back up. Without going back to the start, that is. So we're going to go up the ladder, and this takes us to basic trade. And it's quite a long time. Getting there, can we see the surface yet? Nope. Okay. Sorry for the vertigo inducing zooming. Okay. So, check this. Okay, so that was terrible. Oh. Okay, so I don't want to fly out there again. Oh. So the normal way you do this jump is you go up this block and over that. But I want to try and start doing some speed running in Salt Fell. So I'm going to see if I can do it slightly faster by using my momentum to catapult off the ladder like this. You can see I'm almost making it. Too high that time. That one was close. That was really close. Oh, that was bad. Okay. So it needs to be just a bit higher than that. Let's try this. As you can see, I need more practice. It is possible though. There we go. I did it. It is possible. So this is impossible on Windows, so I'm going to go under. Okay, so the next one I want to check out is Coral Point, because this is one of the things that wasn't possible on Windows. So on um, other versions, you meant to go up and around. Um, let's see if it's now possible to do this on Windows. I don't know if anything's changed here. It doesn't look like it. So and yeah, that's just that chopped door. So this might still be impossible on Windows. But that is fine because we know how to glitch. So, in previous videos, I've done my glitching by using these blocks to get into that wall, but I found a better uh, path to take. So, I want to come down underneath power point and jump up through this gap because then we don't actually have to wait to glitch in, we can just get straight into the map. Um, we're technically out of bounds of course there's a scorpion you want to come up here to right here almost there we go and now we just want to let these blocks come back um because this means now we don't have to wait to glitch out of the course all we need to do is glitch back in so i'm going to take out this block here and as you can see i can wheel across hit this switch and jump out and there's the other side of coral point so I'm going to go through this door here because, again, this requires wall jumping and that's impossible on Windows. Okay, so that's the scorpion tail, I believe this structure is called. You can see you need to do a lot of wall jumping to get up and around. So you want to come through this mining shovel area. You want to go at the top. And so this house here is a little bit of a trick because you can't actually get out of it, so you need to go over. And then we want to drop down to this one. And now what I've worked out is if you come from this block and jump from the corner of it, you can actually not that. You can actually make it 
inside, which saves quite a bit of time. So it's this one here. I think that's that up. Yeah. And you need to get from the edge of the block. Like, not, not like what I'm doing. Um, windows can be a bit unresponsive sometimes. There we go. So now this takes us to the greater chasm. 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 I don't know how to say that word. I will work that out by the next video. So the normal path to take is you go down here and go up and around. I'm going to try and make that jump there. Nope. Let's try it again. Nope. Maybe. Mine. Yep. Okay. And this cuts a lot of path out of the um, track because then you can just go up and around like this. However, for the sake of this video, I'm going to go down here and see what's happened. Okay. So we're in the pit. There's and we have to go up and around like this. Can't get up there, so we'll go through. And part of what I really like about this um, parkour course is that it's incorporated a lot of the natural space. So this section, if you've got high enough agility, you can literally just run straight down it like that, and then jump to here, ladder, land here, ladder, and then we're back. Where it would have been had we made that jump. I wonder if I can jump back. And apparently there's a space where you can escape with the jetpack. So what you want I messed that up. What you want to do is you want to have your shovel digging as you fall. So if you can take out that block there, it gives you a bit of extra leeway. But anyhow. So we just want to run straight through, not like that. We want to run straight through without falling. Oh boy. Okay. So let's try that again. There we go. Jump. Jump. And we're good. This section is just a high agility jump. Get over that. Keep going up and around. Jump across here. Don't hit your head because if you do, you can fall. Jump through and now at the greater chasm, which was another area that was impossible. So we're going to drop down here. So the previous path was jumping up here, then doing a wall jump to get into this crevice here. However, as you can see, even with max agility, it's impossible to do one of those. So, see, I can't make that at all. Um, and why is now added this block here, which you can see you can't get up here, and you can almost get on top of that. But that's not the play we're going for. So what we want to do is, and this trapdoor just triggers that one. So what we want to do is we want to jump. We want to jump and trigger that trapdoor, which then turns this off. So now we can jump again and actually get on top of this block. From there, we can jump up here and we've made it to the top. So this was the section that was I called the wall of doom because it's impossible on Windows, but now, as you can see, it is possible to do. So next, we want to go down through this section, which you have to dig with a shovel, and then back up. Now, something I'm going to be doing while I'm just digging is I'm going to start doing more of these deep world challenge videos. So if you have a course you'd like to see featured, uh, let me know and I'll try and visit. So from here you want to go down, I believe. Yep. We need to take some tricky jumps. I hate these 
stone backdrops because you think you can land there, then boom, surprise, you can't. Okay, is there one land there? Now here. And then get to this one. And then cross, and we're good. And this was another jump that wasn't possible on Windows, but MY is taking those blocks out, which is great. Okay. I can't make that rip. Okay, there we go. So we're just going to keep on moving up slowly. And then we get to another section that was impossible on Windows without glitching, which is what I was doing previously. Um, because the Great Egg Chasm jump and the jump down there were impossible to do even with glitching. But now th that you can just do them. This section here, you could do with glitching, but you don't have to anymore. Because these blocks now exist. So you can just jump up. Up. Up if you actually land on them. And then we want to just do that. And now we have to jump far. I don't know if it's possible to get to this spot here. I feel like it probably is. I've never made that jump before. It cuts a lot of time out of the run though. That's a terrible jump. That's pretty good. I might, no. Yeah, so you can clearly see that's impossible. So you have to go this way, which is the don't screw up part. If you screw up, it's back to the beginning for you. And again, you've got these trick blocks, which are the worst thing. Oh. <sighs> that was saved. Okay. I don't think I can make that. No, I can't make that. So I'll have to go back here. No! Okay, let's try that again. I'll just zoom through here as fast as I can. That's depressing. That's really depressing. I need to have the camera a bit more zoomed in there, I think, too, so I can check if I'm going to actually land on things properly. But yeah, that was disappointing. It was so close too. That's the end of the course. Okay. You can see I'm also making use of the exo leg and the power stomp to help precisely land. Um, you do have to be careful though, because sometimes the exo leg will try to automatically align you, um, which can actually make you fall down gaps. And it is a feature. But it's an inconvenient one. It's great if you're mining, but when you're trying to do precise parkour, you have to be very careful with how you use it. Okay, so we're going pretty good so far, making our way back to where I messed up. We're back. Okay, so let's try this again without messing up. I'm going to zoom in a bit. So you can see here I'm just stomping to make myself land instantly when I'm where I want to be. No, 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 no. Can I do some magic? And get back. Off we go. God, this is not a speed run. Okay.
Third time's the charm is what they say, isn't it? Third time's the charm. So even with the additions, um, when you're an idiot like me, or just anyone really, this is a very hard course. Um, on Windows, it's difficult because you've got dodgy controls. And on iOS, it's difficult because you're using a track, um, a joystick control. Uh, I'm not sure what it's like to play this course on a Mac. I'm assuming it's a lot nicer. So someone will have to let me know. Right, we're almost out of this place. Almost there. Okay. Final attempt, please. Also, yeah, you don't want to pull out of that gap. Because that is really, really ruined the day. Okay. Up we go, up we go. And we got it. Don't mess up the jump, or there will be tears. Okay. So I'm going to go nice and steady this time. Okay, so you see how that pushed me towards the edge of the block? That's what I mean when you have to be careful when you're stomping, because stuff like that happens. <laughs> this course hates me. So if you're good enough at wall jumps, I don't doubt you could just get straight up there from the start. But this part of the course is absolutely brutal because if you mess it up, you have to go all the way back here to try again. I guess on the plus side, I'm getting a lot faster doing this. So third time was not the charm. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Let's keep going. Can you get anywhere from up here? No. Okay. Back down we go again. Angry. I wonder if you could just have one jump. I think you can add a jump. Let's try it. Get from here. Up. And yeah, you can. That's awesome. You can do that whole thing in a single jump. How is that spike damaging me? Okay. Up we go. I said I was going to take it slowly last time. I didn't really go that slowly, did I? Which is probably why I fell. Okay, let's give this another go. That was really risky. I should have done that. Okay. Apparently I'm capable of playing it safe. Like that jumping and skipping stuff. Okay, uh, that was dumb. I need to actually be up on the top one. <laughs> no, I am. It's that last section, those jumps are so unforgiving. And here I'm like, oh yeah, this is going to be a nice, easy video. Won't be any trouble at all. Watch this. I'll jump and that trapdoor will pop back into place. No, it didn't. Oh, man. So, as you can see, I'm going to need a lot more practice before I sp start trying to speed run this world. But I've got a couple of other courses lined up. Um, one by DTEC in Wisdom Falls. Another one that was built by Governor. That was recommended to me by Creeps or Chicken. Let's see if I can do this without missing things. So you worked out you can do this jump in just one leap. Yep.
I'm like, yeah, this will be easy now. Well, it's been fixed. I've done this course plenty of times. Won't have any issues at all. And look where that got me. Here we go. Okay, let's try this again. Okay, don't choke. Yes, we did it. Okay, I think we've got it, we've got it, we've got it. You can get up here. We got it. And we made it. So this is the end of Salt Fell. This big climb. Welcome champion. I'm pretty sure I've got this before. Yeah. So you can see, you can get in here. Sort of. Come on, let me through. Don't let me fall through gaps before. Everywhere. <laughs> so this was Salt Spell Parkour. Um, I definitely recommend it. It's been updated by MY slash Firelaw and it is amazing. It's really hard, um, but I 100% recommend giving it a go. Um, as I also said at the start of this video, I'm looking to do more of these parkour challenges. So if you have a course um, you want to see me try, leave it in the comments or send me a message on the forums and I will try to make a video of it. Thanks for watching everyone. See you next time.